Well, let's go ahead and set up some MCP servers inside of VS Code. It's super simple to do. Here I have one tool. We can see it just the web search for Copilot. That's actually an extension. If you hit add more tools, you can add MCP servers or install extensions. Now that will go ahead and do your system wide or for your workspace. However, you can go in and configure this per project, which is what I prefer. So here, for example, inside my monkey app, I'm going to add a new folder and do dot VS code. You probably already have this, but inside that folder, just add a new file, mcp.json. Perfect. Now here we can see on the bottom right, there's this add server button. When I click on that, it's going to bring up the same command, but it's going to add the servers here. I can add it through a command uh, here, which is just going to run the MCP protocol. So if you're doing that locally, if you want to do server sent events through HTTP, you can set that up, or you can go ahead and do this model assisted NPM pip or Docker image. I have my monkey MCP that I've been creating. So I'm just going to type in James Montemagno slash monkey MCP hit. Okay. This is going to allow it to install. So this will download the container image, give it a server ID and boom, my server is good to go. Now I can go ahead and start this up. I can start it from here, or I can start it from the command palette as well. If I go ahead and bring out uh, here, we can see that now I have four tools. So I have my get monkeys, get monkeys uh, for a specific name or list. I'll say, get me a list of monkeys. Now get a copilot in just seconds. We'll run that from here. It's not going to pass in any arguments, but it is going to get me back a list of monkeys from an MCP server that is running inside of Docker. And there you have it in seconds, getting MCP server set up inside of VS Code.